You know, these steps will set America on a path of net zero emissions economy by no later than 2050. But the truth is, America represents less than 15 percent of the world's emissions. No nation can solve this crisis on our own, as I know you all fully understand. All of us, all of us, and particularly those of us who represent the world's largest economies, we have to step up. You know, those that do take action and make bold investments in their people and clean energy future will win the good jobs of tomorrow and make their economies more resilient and more competitive. So let's run that race, win more, win more sustainable future than we have now, overcome the existential crisis of our times. We know just how critically important that is because scientists tell us that this is the decisive decade. This is the decade we must make decisions that will avoid the worst consequences of the climate crisis. We must try to keep the Earth's temperature and, uh, to an increase of to 1.5 degrees Celsius. You know, the world beyond 1.5 degrees means more frequent and intense fires, floods, droughts, heat waves, and hurricanes, tearing through communities, ripping away lives and livelihoods. Increasingly, dire impacts to our public health. It's undeniable, and undeniable, you know, the idea of accelerating and punishing the reality that will come if we don't move. We can't resign ourselves to that future. We have to take action, all of us. And this summit is our first step on the road. We'll travel together, God willing, all of us, to and through Glasgow this November and the UN Climate Conference. The climate change conference. You know, to set our world on a path to secure, prosperous, and sustainable future. The health of communities throughout the world depends on it. The well-being of our workers depends on it. The strength of our economies depends on it. The countries that take decisive action now to create the industries of the future will be the ones that reap the economic benefits of the clean energy boom that's coming. You know, we're here at this summit to discuss how each of us, each country, can set higher climate ambitions that will in turn create good paying jobs, advance innovative technologies, and help vulnerable countries adapt to climate impacts. We have to move. We have to move quickly to meet these challenges. The steps our countries take between now and Glasgow will set the world up for success to protect livelihoods around the world and keep global warming at a maximum of 1.5 degrees Celsius. We must get on the path now in order to do that. If we do, we'll breathe easier, literally and figuratively. We'll create good jobs here at home for millions of Americans and lay a strong foundation for growth for the future. And, and that, that can be your goal as well. This is a moral imperative an economic imperative, a moment of peril, but also a moment of extraordinary possibilities. Time is short, but I believe we can do this. And I believe that we will do this. 